Hello everyone, welcome to the Bug Expert channel. In this video, we will talk about the problem of not opening in the game FIFA 22. If you are facing such a problem, you can find the solution to the problem by performing the actions in the video. FIFA 22 players rarely encounter the problem of not opening, which can be encountered due to many problems. This situation, which does not happen only in FIFA 22, but also occurs in some games of Windows 10 users, becomes annoying for the players. When you try to run the game, it does not react in any way and even the main menu of the game does not appear. The main reason we encounter this problem is that the antivirus program is blocking the FIFA 22 game file in the background. Due to this blocking, FIFA 22 will not open and will not react in any way. Of course, it may not be due to this basic problem alone. We will try to solve a few of them by mentioning them in this video. First of all, let's perform our first suggestion to solve this error. The Windows Defender software, developed by Windows to secure the operating system, can unnecessarily block files in some places. For this, we can run the game by turning off this protection for a limited time by making a few settings. Open the start search screen and type Windows security settings and open it. On the screen that opens, click on virus and threat protection. Click on the Ransomware Protection option in the menu. Turn off controlled folder access on the screen that opens. After this process, try to run the FIFA 22 game again by closing the Steam or Origin program completely with the help of a task manager. If the problem persists, let's move on to our next suggestion. The real-time protection software that Windows has developed to increase its security is active in every Windows user. If any threat is seen, it may block your operation and cause your game not to open. To turn this setting off, open the start search screen and type Windows security settings and open it. Click on the virus and threat protection option in the subheading of the protection areas that appear. Click on manage settings in the menu. If you have real time protection at the top of the menu, turn it off. If the problem persists, Let's move on to our next suggestion. The fact that your game supported framework programs or hardware drivers are not up to date or installed on your computer can lead to various errors like this. For this, we can reach the solution of the problem by downloading the driver booster program. Install the driver booster program by downloading it. After the installation process is complete, run the driver booster program. Let's scan our drivers by pressing the scan button on the screen we encounter. After the scan is finished, update both the game supported frameworks and your hardware drivers. After the update process is completely finished, you can try to run the FIFA 22 game by restarting your computer. We may encounter such an error due to damaged or incomplete downloads of the files in the game. For this, we need to verify the file integrity of the game by opening the Steam or Origin program. If you are running FIFA on Origin platform and you don't know how to verify file integrity, follow this step. Open your game library by opening the Origin program. Right click on the FIFA 22 game on the screen that opens. Click on repair from the listed options. After this process, it will scan the missing or incorrect files downloaded and installed in the FIFA 22 game and perform the download process. After the process is finished, try to open the game again. If you are running the FIFA game on the Steam platform and do not know how to verify file integrity, follow this step. Open the Steam program. Open the library menu. Open the Properties tab by right-clicking on the FIFA 22 game on the left. Open the Local Files menu on the left side of the screen that opens. Click on the Verify Integrity of Game Files button in the Local Files menu we encountered. After this process, the download will be performed by scanning the damaged game files. After the process is finished, try to open the game again. 